people just start eating themselves. Holy fuck. Like, you got three days to fucking get out of any major city Mm -hmm. first. And then you got to fucking secure some food. You got to secure your well-being. And, um... Yeah, he's like... It's been foreshadowed by... He, he, he said, set up camp at the end of a long road and have lots of bullets. That's what Post Malone said at the end of his video. It's been foreshadowed Three. by lots of things when the grid goes down. But hey, let's talk about... So now we're recording. Um, okay. I got officially it to work. Start. Well, let's officially sure. start. Well, our prediction is for the next election and the few yeah. years to come. Yeah, so we're making this for historical integrity, um, and also we're kind of making this because we were talking about the Barbie and Ken movie and uh, how it's it going to be something big, and that's just about the Oppenheimer movie coming out at the same time, and all the numerology that goes into it um, pointed towards something really big happening and i actually said to alex that i thought like ufo alien disclosure was was near but um you know i of course i have a different thing i I don't think it's they're talking about real aliens i think that they're they're unveiling something much bigger a, a bigger scheme um which is where we kind of find ourselves today having just had that prediction come to fruition we would like to put our other prediction out on the airwaves right now and um just keep it there and if we're right we're right and if we're wrong uh we're gonna delete it you'll never fucking know and if we get deleted then you know something's up oh so, ooh, true yeah true true um, so so I guess here it goes. Um, I I think that the elections coming up with the alien disclosure happening is is definitely no coincidence. They're they're trying to drive up the fear and to get you to be reliant um, in the system again, um, believing that. Um, you know, it matters what they, these people that are representing us are doing for us. Uh, but at, at the end of the day, um, elections are like America's greatest ejaculation release of stress. <laughs> um, and we know that if you go and drop your ballot into a box, that you're going to be a lot less likely to be revolutionary in your your points of view because now you have bought into the system. Just by dropping in that ballot, you are investing belief. And when you invest in belief, we don't like to have wasted our investments. So we continue to double down on that investment. And... Uh, yeah, that's it's something we we've got to really like sit and meditate on and uh, and and see what what it really means to you to vote because it's it's really not changing much. These these elections are set up like selections rather than elections, mm-hmm. and everyone who is a candidate is somebody that is at at the very least not that offensive to either side but really these people are all coming from the same group of people that have known each other all along right and uh, yeah democrats republicans they just they just juxtapose off of each other so um i i see elections as being a uh like world wrestling federation a uh, pre-match shit talking match like they are there to make things explosive in the comment section and get people excited and they are there to sell tickets 
Absolutely. And, and that's it. It's to sell, you know, when you take, um, even if you have to take, time, you know, time off work, you're going to go to the ballots and you're going to, you know, cast your ballot and drop your load in the um, stress relieving uh, idea that you have any impact on the change of the world or at least this country, which this country always wants to get involved in the rest of the world. So our prediction is basically that Joe Biden is going to be considered unable to do his job by whatever means they, you know, explain. And then obviously um, Campbell Toe Harris will come in as president and the country's not going to really like, they already don't like her. So she's going to make an ass of herself. And then the next election, it's going to be Camel Toe Harris versus Michelle Obama. And Michelle Obama is a lot more likable than Camel Toe Harris. So Michelle Obama is going to be elected. And that well, is that's, going... That's just, that's just the candidacy. They're just going to be, gonna be uh, potential candidates next to each other. Right. Um, they're going to expose that Joe Biden was an alien. <laughs> you know, 26 out of 100 American children in school know Spanish? Reptilian grin. Look it up. Look it up. I'm not kidding. He actually said that in a press conference. And the grin he gives. I mean, look at these press conferences that Biden and uh, Harris are giving in these... It's just ridiculous, like the way they, the, their facial expressions and and the way they like. You remember when she, when uh, Joe Biden first got elected after like two days and like everyone was uncertain? She was like, there was that one recording. It was like, we did it, we did it, Joe. You're gonna be the next president of the United States. Uh. They're a fucking joke. It's all a distraction. They just put Donald Trump in office because he was so radical. And then yet they, you know, put in a, someone who they don't think is going to be as radical, but is on a different level. So it's all radical. Um, there is no left or right, really. There, There's no fucking reason to fucking have confidence in, you know, Democrat or Republican at this point. They're all kind of run under the same tyranny and they all have the same agenda. It's just a matter of a, appealing to a certain percentage of the population at the right time. Yeah. Yeah, so. and you know, um, I, I think the the real historical bounty that they will be after is um, trying to basically paint um the the event of the election as um a very positive thing that that this is the country making progress and it would be progressive if you had a true woman candidate that that made it anywhere in this country um but that it, it's really all about branding and mm. Uh, this is where the conspiracy really starts making a lot of sense to me because I think that we're going to have a banger of an election, people. Mm -hmm. They're going to have Kamala not even running for office again. She's going to take over the office and she's going to allow Michelle Obama to run over her. They all work together. They all work together. So next yeah. time you think you're going to the voting booth, the ballots, the polls, and you think you're going to release something, you might as well just jerk off. You'll probably feel better. At least that'll mean something to you. You know, you'll bust a load. You're not just wasting your time off work and going out of your way to some firefighting station and thinking you're making a difference in the world. You might as well just jerk off because that's going to release the same type of load but actually, you know, if you release your own load, it's actually going to mean more. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, I just, I, I really think that 
they they see it as a prize. Um, like they want your energy. They want they your will, energy. If, if you really consider that they're just looking for pieces of propaganda, just imagine the poster that it'll make just to see Kamala Harris handing a, a presidential medal to Michelle Obama. It'll be you in know. the New York Times. It'll be in CBS. It'll be in CNN. It'll be all your favorite mainstream news sources. So it's going to be legitimate and, you know, it's going to make you happy. Um, all you um, people out there that like that kind of thing and haven't done your research about, um, <laughs> I don't want to come off to uh, condescending at all because I totally support um, I'm not saying anyone's making a mistake by voting, but also at the same time, if that's what makes you happy, then do it. You know, if you're not yeah. trying to make a change in the world, um, just go out and do it. Do it. Just vote twice, actually. Get as many mail in ballots as you can and uh, try to get away with voting twice. <laughs> Off, Alex. And if you think Fuck that off. if you think that you this is that. if you, you say that on YouTube, you literally can't say that on YouTube. I know it. I'll cut that part out. But uh, I know all of you feminists out there that think this is a great thing. Yes, it is totally. Love it. Any closing statements, Brian? Um, you know, it's. It's really going to be about keeping our heads on on ourselves and um, not allowing the narrative to carry us away. Because I I believe that there's nothing more that the people in power want than to divide us, to make us low on support systems, to to make us fearful of the future, because mm -hmm. that is what drives profit. And that is what allows for the best system of control. That's what allows you to send your boy off to war. You know, you you tell your boy, don't get into fights in school. But then one day he's in school and some guy in a uniform shows up and he says, hey, boy, uh, you like to fight? Well, not only are you going to fight, you're going to get paid for it. And we're going to take care of you unless you die. But we're going to take care of you and your whole family, even if you die. So let's go fight these wars, Sonny boy. Let's go, little Johnny. We got wars to fight in. Come on. You care about you care about your country, don't you, little Johnny? You want to come over with us, and we're gonna go take a little plane ride and have a little fun. We saw you get. We saw you beat up that bully in, in the hallway. I think you can do a great service to our country. Oh boy. <laughs> well, so that's it. That's it. Um, we just wanted to make a short cool. thing. Uh, look forward to more episodes. This is just going to be a little kind of prelude to a lot of the topics we're going to get into. Yeah. And, and it is the beginning of August, 2023. It's and a we are, we are in for a bumpy fucking ride. Mm -hmm. So, put on your fucking children's seatbelts. Put on the Barbie movie. Chop up that fucking line. Mm -hmm. Let's fucking go. Let's chop up a line of freedom together. Chop up a line of freedom. <laughs> you gotta snort it off an American flag, though, otherwise it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we love you guys. You know, obviously, we're joking around about a lot of stuff, like... And quite frankly, we don't care if you think we're offensive. Just turn it off. You didn't have to listen yeah. to this. There's a million other podcasts to listen to. Just turn one of those on. Turn on Joe Rogan. There are political, uh, political comedians with uh, an emphasis on the truth. Um, but mm -hmm. um, I really feel like they, these records are going to be essential someday. 
Yes. And obviously we're joking around a lot, but there is a lot of uh, deeper shit that if you, well, we'll like, we'll save that for other episodes. Um, thank you for listening everybody, uh, to the watering hole podcast with me and novelty and Sir Brian Hattrick. Uh, we will be back whenever we're back. We got a lot of stuff to do. You know, Brian's got a lot of windows to clean. I have a lot of tables to serve and you know the american people they're very hungry for this information some of them not all of them but we'll be back love you guys peace and love